Hey guys, it's Chris from Cook Woods. Today we're gonna to take this really cool American sycamore log and we're gonna turn it into this. So stick around, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hey guys, today we're gonna to jump in the Link Belt 6000, the log loader that's right here. They made 17 of these, I believe. They weigh 125,000 pounds without picking anything up. And this one with its 68 inch grapples says I can pick up 57,200 pounds. And I've picked up a six foot diameter log off a log truck before that was probably 35, 40,000 pounds and definitely felt the weight, but it just, it's really built well. If you look at the steel here, that's an inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter thick steel that they used. It's just an amazing machine. It's super heavy duty. Like I said, they only made 17 of these. I've got a really neat American sycamore log that we're gonna melt today. And sycamore, if you know, is a member of the maple family. So it's an acer. And it's also one of the largest of the hardwood species that's in the US. It's considered the most massive. So it's not like a sequoia or any of the softwoods that are gigantuan, but for a hardwood, it's, it's termed, it's supposed to be the most massive of our American hardwoods. So I'm gonna hop in and we'll pull it down and go over the log. Today we've got this American sycamore log that we're going to throw on slabzilla in a little bit. We're going to mill up, get some nice slabs out of it, and hopefully some four-quarter lumber that's quartered that will look really pretty. This log has sat for a little bit, so you can see the heart really easily here, and then you can see some drying checks that have happened here. But maple trees in general, or sycamore, have a lot of water inside of them, so when they dry, they have a hard time drying without getting cracks and stuff when they're in really large form, large chunks. So once we get this on the mill, we'll get it sliced up into the right sizes and then dry it out at the appropriate speed and we should get some really pretty lumber out of it. Yeah. This clamp needed to go up a little bit more. It's just not quite biting into very much right here. So I'm gonna back it back out a little bit and then get it, get it back on there. There we go. I was listening for a, a crunching sound that lets me know that I really dug in here. So I heard it and it's ready to get milled. All right, so we have the head rig, which is Slabzilla, and the conveyor, which is turned them on. Okay, i turn that off. Every once in a while, the breaker goes off down here. Not exactly certain why, but it's not too hard to fix it. Let's see if that fixes it or not. Yep, okay. Not sure why, but it just tripped a breaker somehow. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna kind of fly over this one and skim it. Pretty common occurrence when I'm milling, I'll get little pieces that fall down. In this case, these little cookies that I was cutting off the limb up here, these guys right here, they were getting thrown down here and just can't cut anymore because they're 
blocking the, the cutter head. So, but I'll pull those out. They look pretty cool. Yeah, so these are pretty cool. Kind of look like eyes. I know you have to have a little bit of an imagination, but that looks kind of cool. Good arts and crafts stuff. All right, I'll get those down. Okay. So this is really cool. One of the things that I really like about sycamore is when you get it quarter sawn and you get nice rays that go through it. And that's what we're talking about. This just split naturally, so it split right on the corner. This is called silk. And to have it go that far is just amazing. Normally you might have silk that goes an inch or a half an inch long. These are inch and a half, two inches long. That is gonna be really pretty. So if you guessed it, we are going to quarter saw as much of this as possible so we can show this beautiful grain right here. The quartered with the silk, those beautiful little red stripes in there. That's gonna be nice. And it looks like this one picked up a little bit of solid spalting in here. So there's a little bit of darker color in there too. So I think I'll take the log. I'm gonna cut some slabs right out of the middle here. And these are gonna be quartered because here's the heart, here's the bark. So that's gonna show where it's quartered the best. So I'm gonna try to get eight inches across the top here. I can do a little better job. Okay. So we'll take this one off and we're gonna cut it that direction on the 300. This one we're gonna slice this way down to about here. And then we'll take this one and we'll put it on the other mill, the 300, and we'll slice it like that. So we'll get quartered here and about here to here. And then right over here in this section and then right up through about here and then the rest of it will produce some nice riffs on maybe I'll cut them a little differently so we can get some quartered out of it too because I could take this piece right here if I keep cutting it's going to go into riffs on grain because the grain runs in here like this if I cut it like this it's just going to be angled and it won't have that silk that shows up that everybody loves so I may take this like a quarter for a quarter sawn log and I may slice it this way. And then these will be quartered in here. I'll lose these notched corners right here. So there's quite a bit of loss that we'll have in here. And by the time we straighten them out, we'll get like five or six inch boards here, but they'll be really pretty. So with a log like this, I would rather cut to get the highest quality material out of it instead of just a massive amount of wood that maybe half of it looks great and the other half nobody wants. So that makes it a little bit more expensive because we're gonna throw more of it out in the process, make more sawdust, but that's what you guys want is you want the high grade. That's what we're gonna cut. take a look. So here is my plan bottom cut right here. I went a little bit below. That's why it's a plan. So I think this is going to be a really good cut right there. The money cut. And then this one will look really pretty but it won't be as nice as this one. And then the top and the bottom are cans that are going to go in on the 300 and we're going to quarter saw those. So we're going to do these cuts. It's stuck in there. Give it back. So I'll get the loader, we'll pull this off of here, and then we'll get the top and bottom, throw it on the 300 and see what it looks like.
Yeah. And if you can look at this right here, you able to see that? That is the money cut right here. See this silky grain in here? The salmon-y red colors and white sapwood. And the silk, they're long little color bands that just run this way. The only time that happens is when it's perfectly quarter sun. And there it is. That is beautiful. Sycamore kind of gets overlooked. They're like, ah, it's sycamore, who cares? That doesn't say who cares. That's really beautiful. And that's one of the largest trees in North America for hardwoods, or termed the most massive. And this one was above that perfect quarter sawn. And in here, you can, I can see the silk. They're just fine little dots in here that are super, super small. And right here, they get a little bit wider as it gets a little bit more quarter sawn, but you really can't see much. So two inches of thickness take this from relatively boring to, you know, it's a nice big slab to, oh my gosh, that is stunning. Two inches, that's it. And right here, we went down three inches and we're still in some beautiful material. Hey, I got my chaps on, earplugs. I'm gonna trim off this limb that's sticking out right here. It looked cool in the slabs, but it's not gonna fit through the 300 very well. It's just gonna be kind of a wrestling match between the log and the sawmill. So we'll just clean that up real quick. cutting counts on the 300 we're gonna slice it into four quarter hopefully we get some beautiful lumber out of it as soon as I get that brush head off of the guides up here which I'm glad I saw it before I started to run the saw Benny <laughs> <laughs> all right now I think we can start running I'll at least get it on here so a lot of times these big camps do not like to cooperate so Hopefully this one does. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna have to scoot it forward a little bit. Okay, I can feel it's on the, yep, a little bit on the chain. So this is what I call the cook woods jib. You just have to keep your back straight. So the 2000 mil that should be here within a month has four arms and they all have chains on them like back here. So we don't have to do this anymore. So I'm really looking forward to the new mill. But until then, we've enjoyed the 300 and it's exercise routine for us daily. There we go. Yay! Success! So there's the center right there. So I'm gonna raise this side up, I hope. <laughs> and see if we can cut more like this instead of like that. We'll get a little bit better cut out of it. Yeah, you see that? Okay, that's as high as I can go and that looks pretty good.
sometimes on the last cut, it's easier to raise my rollers and push it off manually because you can bump into things with the cutter head and it can be bad sometimes. Done. All right, we got it all cut up. We've got this sycamore cut up and these quarter sawn cuts are just beautiful. Look at the silky grain that just flows through these. That says that it's perfectly quarter sawn and these are just stunning. There's even a little bit of interlocked grain down here. So you have areas of dark and light that go through. That is just beautiful. Kind of a salmon reddish or salmon pink color in here for the rays. And then a nice maple. Uh, golden and brown right in here. So here's the center of the tree and some of these slabs will probably get, well with the live edge on there, they're about 16 to 18 inches wide for the center cuts. But really nice material. If you're going to make a slab table or something like that, you could put bow ties in uh, down like that and, or you could fill it with epoxy resin, do a resin pour table. But beautiful material. If you like this sycamore and you want to pick some up, go to cookwoods.com and we'll get you set up with some beautiful quarter sawn sycamore. Hey guys, if you liked today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to have some more amazing videos coming your way, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss it.